Yeah, but but black men only make fifty three thousand a year. That's not uh, enough to support a family. Holy so we gotta put up with that. So, so we got since we gotta put up with that. Why why, why y'all can't put up with what we gain five or ten pounds? Exactly. See? One again, out of every three again, weight, weight is a bargaining tool. You gotta stop that. This is for your own good. We didn't this say is, it was a bargaining listen, tool. Y'all made it a bargaining go. tool. Listen here, ladies. Ladies, listen, listen. Oh my goodness. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, he the queen ain't gonna make me lose my mind up here tonight. <laughs> your, your body don't belong. Let's look, let's look at it this way. Your body don't belong to you. The good Lord, all, all of you good Christian folks, all you God fearing folks, the good Lord gave you this vessel, this physical vessel to walk around this earth with. And he and you know, he say, do good by him, yo, do good by his vessel. Your body's supposed to be a temple. So why are you up here, sitting here justifying abusing your temple that God gave you, and then using this abused temple as a bargaining tactic for God, for one of God's creatures, his his son, your man. You see, let's get deep into it. So now you're like, I'm big. You got to take this. Give me, a, give me a lot of money and trinkets, and maybe I'll lose some weight. Maybe I will, ninja. So that's how y'all come off. But it's choices. <laughs> Men make choices. Men make choices to deal with fat women all the time. So if they choose mm -hmm. that, if they choose that overweight woman, who are, who are we to say she doesn't deserve him or he should pick better? It's not up for us to say that. If you married this woman and this woman gained weight, when this woman gained weight and have a baby, you don't say I got to throw her out because she gained 50 pounds because she had a baby. You ain't supposed to be gaining no damn 50 pounds from being pregnant. She Stop that. But ain't I'm no saying. stop. Stop this. Yeah. You stop. You you me ish. But, 50. but uh, and, and another thing, you said you see the old lady putting food away at the at the Walmart, picking up uh, uh, juices. What yeah, difference does it make? What so. what did, my whole thing is you say she should have a man standing right alongside with her where she don't have to work. How is it that a man who make fifty three thousand dollars a year and her she did y'all both gonna have to work? Y'all still both gonna be poor. Not you, true. You, you. That's not true. Let's get it. Okay, like, I'm gonna make this quick. We gotta stop living outside of our means. We can easily get us living inside our means by the time you 45, 50 houses with a mobile home, trailer park, little little Nissan Ultima can be paid off. You ain't got to be poor, but y'all want to be out here buying stuff y'all can't afford in houses, so y'all got to work forever. You see how that works? Live within your means. There's your answer. Okay, so you say live within your means, right? Yes. Okay. So with most black men nowadays, you walk to them and ask them, what do you bring to the table? Well, if he come to me and say, I ain't got no kids, that's a negative because what future are you investing in? I, I want I want a family. So if you ain't coming with no kids, that's a negative. Okay, well, I make 60000 a year. Okay, what do you have to show for that 60000 a year? You live in a one-bedroom apartment? You know, you. I mean, what are you able to suffice me to make me be able to feel live comfortable and mm -hmm. stay in my femininity? Because a lot of you, if you're not making enough money, then I'm going to have to go hustle money. That's going to bring me out of my femininity. OK, so, you guys ain't bringing. Well, you well, I also got I got a record. OK, so now I have to deal with you being able to not get a job because you have a background you have we got record. Record. See, tyranny, again tyranny every time you describe a guy you scrape for the very bottom of the barrel no, he got a work, he got a work business efficiency. he got a record is weenie little you know he funky he missing a toe you know, I all that. That. You, he, why this dude always got a record tyranny why he always broke because like, one of every that? three Ooh. black men has a record now even if they're not in jail you don't have to go to jail to have a record so honestly, one in every three black men have a. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Stop. We gotta stop you. Which part? Listen. Last time you did this, the media man stumped. Like, have you not learned? The media man stumped you out. It's one no, in five. Here today, in 2024, it's one in five. We're not gonna keep up that old stat from 20, 30, 40 years ago. Okay, one in five, and then the other two are gay. What are we going to talk about? What are we talking about? What are you talking about? 15%, 15 of black men have been to prison. 15% of all black men have been to prison. 
Crazy you, is that, sure. you don't think that that's got nothing to do now? Y'all love talking about systematic stuff. That ain't got nothing to do with but the then system. If you cut, see, y'all always talking about 70% of us are single that ain't got nothing to do with the system. We talking about we talking about black men on US soil being but a car. But see, you see what we gotta put up with? We gotta put up with stuff like y'all got a record, 15% of y'all got a record, 30% of y'all got baby dad, y'all no, baby daddy. Not the same way. Listen, <laughs> I, black women. Damn near one y'all damn near getting arrested at the same rate. These no, days. we ain't. Yeah. That's no, Nolan Boy. That's almost ah. Nolan Boy. That's almost Nolan Boy. Y'all can go on with that. It's, listen, brothers. How, how, check these women. They all got misdemeanors, <laughs> felonies. They stealing. They thieves. They gypsies. You eyes? All that. Do you eyes? Yeah. So why y'all being so picky? Then? That were drunk. Why y'all been so damn picky then? We all right. we that all got problems. Way. We all got issues and problems. Why why is it that it's just a dead giveaway? The one thing y'all stuck on is the weight. So that's the what, one thing y'all stuck on. The one thing we stuck on is the weight. Do you, not, do you not understand when a man looks at a woman, he's looking for fitness because he's looking for the advancement of his family and lineage. Don't you understand that? It's it's got something to do with survival. It ain't stuck on it. It's a primitive thing. Y'all need to start it's fighting there, primitive nature. Let's not let's not let's not act like it's a disconnect between a woman being big. Ninety percent of them that comes with aggression. Say what you want. Woman cannot be walking around three foot a hundo and peaceful. Mm. Impossible. You let's look, let's, let's, look let's, at these city look, girls because y'all tripping on big women. Shout she, out to big women. She three hundred okay, pounds. Y'all know y'all know how these big women. You she three hundred pounds walking with her man. Every woman. That comes into that man's eyesight while he out with 300 pound woman makes him uncomfortable with that smaller in this shape. Y'all need to stop your week. I'm bringing it up today. Stop that. And then she mad. You can't even look. She he can't even he can't even like dang, she look nice. That big woman gonna jaw him. Bow. What you talking about? Why you looking at her phone? Jaw him too. I mean, fucked up. Don't be talking about no see, next see, one. Don't look at no booty when you with me. That, don't that compliment is, her. Don't like that, no post. That, and then you know why? That's because y'all don't like to compete. Y'all want right. this man. Y'all you want right. your man to roam the earth as if there's no other woman on earth besides you. Therefore, there's nothing to compare you to. Therefore, you are the mother god Seamoss. Therefore, don't look at no other woman. It's only me. That's and fine. Me. Because that ain't, you that ain't realistic. That's crazy as hell. You but want you the same me. thing. Go ahead, Higgin. Okay, but okay. you pick, but you picked me. No, we live in the you, world. You, you you picked me. Competition. Y'all gotta compete. That's that's what's gonna keep y'all. That's what's gonna keep everything in balance. Is other women in the world and men yep. gonna say, "Whoa, y'all gotta compete too." And we want y'all to make yeah. more money. Yes, yes. See, that's the thing. Yes, men know to compete. Hit sports. So <laughs> why is it that y'all median <laughs> income is fifty three percent, fifty three thousand dollars a year? If y'all know y'all can compete. Fifty-three thousand dollars a year ain't nothing to smirk at, heathen queen. That's above average. What are you talking about? That's good for some place like Atlanta, but that ain't good for New York and California and Maine and 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 uh, uh, Washington D.C. Here we go. You getting so that's a how, what percentage of black folk you talking about now? A very small. So now you just what? What argument you building up now when we talking about majorities? I'm saying I'm saying that because you all want something. You all act like you don't have to give nothing. We the only ones that got to compete. Like we the only one got to yes. compete with other women. Y'all got to compete with other men. And yes. what we want y'all to do, we do. Is X, y, and Z. We do. It's nonstop competition. We are men. That's all we do is compete. Healthy competition. So why it's everybody stay, Why is that average fifty three thousand? No, here we. That is because that y'all made that, and you keep putting only. That's the today's modern woman want to put only in front of fifty thousand dollars you know why you know why only because there are resourceful men making 70 80 100 whatever and it's getting balanced out by who nug nug you know the man that does not even have to work to get kuda kata the one we tell y'all to start sleeping with he throwing Ooh. the damn numbers off he's they, like I, I ain't got to do nothing i'm getting the same results there's training yeah, yeah, but but there's 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 amongst you he's we, the queen we, the we can, for the pookies and ray rays we can put the fat women now what it ain't happening now. We can the Ray Ray in the corner, corner. and then we can put the cookies and the Ray Rays in the corner. Now you just got us regular, normal people that ain't uh, no way. It's traders amongst you, heathen queen. All of the women's CEOs, PhDs, they all hunching on Ray Ray and Pookie. 
it's, yeah, it's but traders you're young, you. bro. Y'all fucking traders fucking amongst you. Tell it's me y'all fucking fat bitches. <laughs> what do you That's mean? Spooky. A lot of y'all fucking Yeah, fat. when they drunk. That's the last yeah. call before the lotion. Men are drunk. <laughs> Granted. That's understood. And we tell them not no. to. But 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 when it's one when it's when it's eight out of ten, hell, good luck. Cause the two women that's in shape that I wanted to sleep with, somebody else already sleeping with her tonight. So I gotta wait my turn. Mm-hmm. I just gotta take the big girl tonight. It is what it is. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. See that? Huh? What? But that's y'all still, but y'all still take her just like we take, just like we take the lame mother. Not the same. It's not the same. Oh, you got to look. Same. We, uh, just again, threw away, uh, we just threw away Pookie and Ray Ray. We just threw away all of uh, Fat Lady. You said we got traders in our midst that's going with the Pookies and Ray Ray. I'm telling you, there's traders in you all's midst. So now we, we just X out that side, X out this side. So now what? A bunch of y'all women gone. So it's, a, it's like 75% of women are gone and 20% of men. So now what? So, okay, there you go. He's a queen. Now the market twenty five percent of men. You mean to tell me seventy five percent of y'all pookies and ray rays? No, I. That's not what I said. Is that I said? I said. What did I say? What percentage? Like said. Yeah. Oh, it's a good number. No, it's a good number. You you throwing me off, he's the queen. I knew you gonna try to do this tonight. I knew it. Stop. <laughs> so you saying twenty five percent is pookies and ray ray? About y'all. Here's the thing. Eighty percent. There you go. About 75% of y'all are messing with 25% of these Ray Rays and Nug Nugs. That's y'all. So there you go. I'm wrong again. Y'all they still going to be outside of y'all. The, they know, the price, they know how to the communicate. Price of they know how should never go up. The price of Kuda Caddis should never go up. Because if we get rid of all the, all the big women, they like you said, that's 80% sure. of y'all. And if we get rid of all the pookies and nug nugs, it's about 25%. If I said 75 you got to stop to I ain't buying that. You talking about they know how to talk. These very men know how to talk. They don't they produce. Do. Listen, they don't produce a damn thing. Then the men who aren't producing and can't talk much, y'all don't want to follow the man who actually is the leader. Y'all want to follow a man who's going to talk you into a damn rabbit hole. CTN, yeah, they, they think they can gain no pookies and Ray Ray. They think because they got a job, they ain't no pookies and Ray Ray. We ain't say that. That's what we, there's a whole bunch of pookies and Ray Rays that got jobs and got good job, and they doing what they got to do, but they look at look at T.I. T.I., a pookie and a Ray Ray. All day. <laughs> he was so, yeah, y'all pookies and Ray Rays is more than 20%. We we not about to wait, wait. We not about to call. Uh we not about hey. to call T.I. He was married. This man he a a <laughs> and he's still with his ex. Well, whatever him and they still making again. T.I., you call him what he wants. He's still by his wife's side, even and to he's all still the out there hitting them city girls. He a pookie and, 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 and you know what? She's intelligent. She with him doing it. She know what it is. She on his page and they happy. Yeah, that's like together. Paulie. That's a different lifestyle. You yeah. can't talk about. A so, uh, future's a Pookie and Ray Ray. He got a whole future bunch of money. Ain't married. Future ain't married. Married. He has a married family man. You got to put some respect on that. That's what I'm saying. Future's married? No. no T.I. He a Pookie and Ray Ray. So is that Dick Cannon. Dick. None of these men are married. That's it. T.I. married. So that's he's a, a whole Pookie's and Ray Ray. He's a married man. You he's think 20% man. is like Nick Cannon? There's more he- than 20% of Nick- Pookie's and Ray Ray's. You call there's, a difference, there's a difference between T.I. and Future. So yes. well, can I make this point? There, like she, he, the queen is he saying, he there married. are more married Pookies and Ray Rays Thank than you. there are alpha males with money. Thank Why? You. Because ain't, Pookie and Ray Rays... Y'all just got to create arguments now. We ain't, I don't no, know. Hold on. He just put up a good <laughs> freaking point. Let me get these super chat. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Shane, the watcher. With five dollars, he says women be having psychic dreams and ish. How do y'all not know when your man is cheating? Oh, we know, Please. we know, we just gotta have that proof first. Before no, we ain't no proof. Right? There you go. He he talks slick. They can talk so slick. We can't. Y'all y'all so powerful and so powerless at the same time. Pick a struggle. 